So I got some good news. The Jeep Gladiator among its competition has the most in terms of inventory. However, I also have some bad news. In terms of that inventory, that inventory is drastically less than what it was the last time I made this video just a few months ago. My thinking is that you'll go to a dealership and find a Gladiator that will work. Maybe it's a different color than what you were originally looking for. Maybe a different trim than you what you were looking for. However, you will find it. What I want to do for you in this video is break down exactly what you can expect if you're planning on purchasing or leasing a brand new Jeep Gladiator. I'll break down inventory on the Gladiator as well as its competition. Finally, I'll leave you off with some insurance premiums that I think you should be able to land in your state. What is happening guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting and by clicking here or the link in the description below, you'll be able to access a summary of tonight's negotiation guide on my blog. Negotiationguides.com will also connect you with local area Jeep dealers so that you can land the very best deal on a Gladiator. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is going to teach you everything you're going to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. You guys, let's get down to business as far as inventory. What I'm talking about when I say the most, we've got 6,399 Gladiators Compare that against 5,065 Ford Rangers, 1,881 Honda Ridgelines, 4,419 Nissan Frontiers, and 4,382 Toyota Tacomas. Trim by trim, of the most popular, we're seeing 1,043 Sports, 335 Sport S's, 409 Willis, 1,163 Overlands, 1,104 Mojaves, and 1,680 Rubicons. I did have an Overland for the last negotiation guide. For this one, I picked out a cheaper Rubicon for the sake of just giving you some estimates as far as what this may cost you. Now, the Rubicon that I've got picked out has an MSRP of 47,130. I would target MSRP if you can do a little bit better, maybe a thousand or two. That's definitely a great deal. However, just try not to pay over MSRP. Getting it at MSRP right now, Jeep is not offering any rebates. However, they are offering a promotional APR of 0% for 36 months, 1.9 at 48, 2.9 at 60. Assuming you were able to land it at MSRP, this would get you to a payment of $871 a month, and that's assuming you're putting your taxes and fees up front, financing using the promotional 2.9% at 60. If you're planning on leasing, keep this in mind, you guys, lease payments will vary because of Jeep working with tons of different local credit unions and national leasing companies besides Chrysler Capital. I did prepare some other lease payment estimates on the other trims. You can find it by clicking here or the link in the description below. That'll take you to the negotiation guide summary page. Assuming you got the Gladiator at MSRP right now, Jeep is not offering any lease cash. We've got a residual of 60% for 36 months at 10,000 miles a year and a steep money factor of 0.00188. This is pointing into the fact that I think Jeep wants you to buy the Gladiator. Plugging this all in into the lease calculator and assuming you're giving just your inception fees do it start, so your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, registration, all that stuff. Do it start roughly about 2250. We'd be talking about oh boy. 665 bucks a month. That's not including sales tax, and that's at MSRP. Don't light me up in the comment section. That's just what the math says it's going to be at MSRP. Not trying to rhyme. I'd be a good rapper, I think. Anyway, so like I said, you can get other lease payment estimates by clicking here or the link in the description below. As far as insurance, you guys, the Jeep Gladiator, what I'd suggest you target out in Arizona would be roughly about $1,550 for the year, $1,955 in California, $2,135 Florida, $1,350 Illinois, $1,450 Massachusetts, $2,970 Michigan, $1,895 New York, $1,115 North Carolina, $1,690 Pennsylvania, 1960 Texas, 1120 in Virginia. Keep in mind, you guys, because there's more Jeep Gladiators available than its competition, it is going to be a situation where you'll have 
various other dealerships to be able to shop around to usenegotiationguides.com to connect with your local area Jeep dealers so that you can land the very best deal on the Gladiator. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.